Yeah, in a good way. Uh, in a good way. I was in I was in spring practice at Fresno State, and I was having a terrible practice. And I approached my head coach, Coach Jim Sweeney, and I was saying something to him about the way practice went. And he stopped, and he looked me dead in my eyes. And he said, I don't know why you're talking to me. You're the problem. And it crushed me. I had never heard that before. And everything about me as a victim that my past created was gone. I went home, I looked in the mirror, and I understood that from that day on, everything that happened to me was because of me. And if you don't have that kind of attitude, you're going to fall short because what that told me was if I wanted to get better, I had to put in the work. If I wanted to be a better student, if I wanted to be a better athlete, if I wanted to be a better son, if I wanted to be a better person, a better boyfriend, whatever, I had to put in the work to make that happen. It wasn't going to be because of my friend or my relationship with my friend. It wasn't going to be because my high school coach told me I was great. It wasn't going to be because my girlfriend tells me you're the best guy on the field. It had nothing to do with that. But it had everything to do with decisions that I needed to make to prepare myself to become the best person, the best <clears throat> athlete, and the best student I can be. And when I left Fresno State University, some of those comments that were told to me had to be taken back. And that's a great feeling. Believe in yourself, but also believe in the process. Also believe in the pro process. Believe in the journey. Understand that your journey is like no other. Just because some guy runs 4 3 40 and you know he's a mega athlete and he's going to make it, that has nothing to do with you. Focus on who you are. Focus on your talents and have a plan and be intentional about what you're doing. Don't just show up. That's not that's not going to help. Don't just show up. 